let's go portray that to the public. And then the public always will uh, kind of come in with the presumption that there's a little bit of wiggle room there, a little bit of negotiation. And for years and years and years and years, that's how it worked. And in a balanced market, there is that sort of negotiation. Uh, during COVID, we got way out of, way out of balance. Oh, there was no balance. Yeah, and so sellers had all the authority, all the power, and they could just command whatever they wanted there. And uh, even if they listed at the, at the price that they, they thought was maybe the right value, they were still getting offers, you know, sometimes hundreds of thousand dollars oh, over yeah. that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I believe that we're back to a normal market cycle where, you know, you do your best to put the right price on a home. There's still going to be the perception that there's a little bit of room to work, uh, work with there. And we're going to see this as, the, as sort of the norm going forward is that you know, yeah. most homes are going to sell for a, a percentage between sort of 96 and 98 percent of what they are listed at. Funny that you mentioned that number. Uh, so prior to COVID, uh, when I was sitting with a seller, uh, you're going to sell at 97% of asking price. During COVID, how much money do you want to make on your house? You want to get 600?